Hello Taurus, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse, welcome to my channel and welcome to another energy reading. As you see, I'm just working every single day, I just want to make sure that I put out some content for you guys, especially if, you know, sometimes this is wisdom and it helps people heal, so that's what I'm here for. I'll be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future in reference to this love connection that you continue to deal with that's conflicted. To book your private reading with me, they're an hour long via FaceTime, Google Duo, or a regular phone conversation. And of course, the cards is a remedy, but it's more of a therapeutic session for me. That's why it's an hour long. Not only is it therapy for me, helping you, but it's also therapy for you. You know what I mean? Um, so again, I want to thank you. We're going to get right into this right away. All right. Let's take a look at the recent past for Taurus and the person that they're dealing with. Please talk to me in reference to the recent past when it comes to Taurus and the person that they are dealing with. The recent past, please. The recent past for Taurus and the person that they are dealing with. All right, so please speak to me, Spirit, in reference to the recent past when it comes to Taurus and the person that they're dealing with. Talk to me about the recent past when it comes to Taurus and this connection. Talk to me about Taurus and the person that they're dealing with. Taurus and the person that they're dealing with, please. Taurus and the person that they're dealing with. Okay. So, Taurus, I feel like you're not talking to someone. You're holding back. You don't want to communicate because you don't want more issues, more drama, more problems in your life. So you're trying to not complicate things more. And so you'd rather just focus on how to create a better life than to make things worse for yourself is what I feel when it comes to this connection, okay? I do feel that someone wants to talk to you and they want to know what's wrong. Like someone is concerned. They want to reach out. And I know that for some of you, you're watching this and you're like, but they're ignoring me. Just because someone ignores you doesn't mean that they don't want to talk to you, all right? Some people feel like they have to hold back. Some people feel like they need to stay away for certain reasons. Doesn't mean that they don't want to come forward, right? Ego, pride, all of that has to do with why people don't communicate as often as they should. So... In the recent past here, okay, I definitely see that you're working really hard, Taurus, on whatever it is that you're doing. Please keep doing that. The pentacles are growing. The money is helping you. You are becoming even more well-known. You are so proud of yourself because of where the business is going. You know, the love is another situation, but the business, it's flourishing for you. I mean, opportunities with jobs and money just coming in. I feel like in the recent past, it's something that is just really highlighted for you at this time. Please continue to work hard on just getting the bag because that's one of the best things that you're good at. We have the Ace of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. In the recent past, you have a fire sign that wants to talk to you. And they want to talk to you right now, okay? <laughs> that is the energy that I'm getting, okay? This could be the person that's held back, though, because they feel like they need to be, right? Remember, just because someone ignores you or you feel like you're being ignored, that doesn't necessarily mean that someone doesn't want to talk to you, all right? It's just someone feeling like they need to play the background for a little while, for some of you, right? Then we have Pisces and more Sagittarius energy here. Okay, um, so changing, either you changed or they changed, okay? And I feel like someone 
really thinks about changing their living situation and how they're planning on becoming more independent so that they can come closer to you or be together with you. It's like someone is trying to figure out that or is understanding that they need to change their living situation in order for you to take them serious in the recent past here. That's what I'm getting. Now let's talk about the present when it comes to Taurus and the person that they're dealing with. Please speak to me in reference to Taurus and the person that they're dealing with. Spirit, please talk to me. Yeah, somebody wants to talk. I'm telling you, somebody wants to talk. There's so many secrets here. If someone would just speak up, all right? And what's gonna happen is, is yes. With the Six of Cups here, for some of you, this is someone that you've been dealing with for a little while, so it's not a new person. You know, if it was a new person, then the Six of Cups wouldn't be showing up here, right? But I definitely feel this energy of someone knows that they have to step it up, okay? Someone knows that, you know? I just feel that when it comes to what it is that you're doing, Taurus, you have stepped up so much. You have reinvented yourself. You have just, it's almost as if you're a whole new person. You're not the same person that you were last year at all, right? That's part of the reason why this person is so attracted to you, right? Even if it's coming to an end, even if it's coming to a close, you're like this reincarnation of something else that's absolutely beautiful today you know what i mean you were always beautiful but it's like you're ascending right and so that's causing this tower moment for your person and they're feeling like i gotta step it up because taurus stepped it up so i need to you know what i mean look at look at where she's going look at where he's going look at you know it's like your rank you know what I mean? It's like somebody knows that they got to match you because if not, you out. Like, you're leaving. If they can't step up, then you're out of there. It's, it's, you're, not, you're not anything that's... You're nothing minuscule. You're nothing small. Like, this is a big deal. Right now, <laughs> Taurus is a huge deal. You know what I'm saying? This isn't just some chick that you know from down the street. This isn't some guy that you know from down the block. Like, this Taurus is going places. So if your person is not going to meet you halfway, then you're out. And they know that. It's scary. It's anxious. All right? And I know that you feel the vibe. Like, they want to talk to you, but they have to drop the ego. You know, once they do that then things get better for them. They're so afraid to say certain things to you or to actually show you that side. Okay, fine. If they don't want to do that, then they can live with that for the rest of their lives as you continue to elevate, right? Now, let's talk about the future when it comes to Taurus and this connection. Let's talk about the future when it comes to Taurus and the person that they're dealing with. Talk to me in reference to the future when it comes to Taurus and the person that they're dealing with. Talk to me about the future. Hmm. I feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign in the future, they're going to start talking to you more about some of the things that you've been wanting to hear, okay? I feel like they wanna to talk to you about how they feel stuck or stressed or, you know, what I'm getting here is for this person, for some of you guys, you know, it'll be too late for that person. And for others of you, yeah, then you'll be open to listen. But I feel like you have this fire sign, this Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius that wants to start to open up to you about 
things that you wanted them to open up to you about a long time ago. And that's why I'm getting that. Some of you are going to say yay, and then others of you are going to say nay. Like, it's you know, <laughs> depending on who's who watching this, right? But I feel like that option is coming up in the future here for you because this person has a, a true desire to get along. And it's not that you don't want to get along with this person, Taurus. It's just that you're tired of the fuckery. There's too much fuckery. Like, excuse my language. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're tired of it. Yeah, you have love for this person. Yeah, there's emotion. But you're not with the bullshit at all. You know? People are getting older. Nobody has time. No one has time to waste anymore. The whole world is getting sick while people want to play games with other people's lives. You know? All right, tell me more about Taurus's person. Wait a minute. Cards are just wanting to fly out. Tell me more about the person that Taurus is dealing with. The Nine of Cups. Pisces energy. So with the Nine of Cups here, I really feel that they are the nine of cups for you, you know. Every cup is full for you, but there's one missing. They need to admit that one cup. Why is it missing? Where did they put it? What did they do with it? Do they plan on replacing it to get the ten of cups? Because obviously... You are their nine of cups. They are so fulfilled with you. Even if they made you feel like shit is what I'm getting, right? Even if they did you dirty in the past, you still mean everything to this person. Tell me more about how Taurus this person feels. And yeah, they're just waiting for you. They hope that... You'll change your mind. They watch you from a distance. They don't know how to approach you. They know how you are. They don't want to argue. They don't want a confrontation. They don't want you to feel bad. They know that they are the cause of you feeling bad, right? They don't know how to feel about that. And so they ponder and they ponder and they ponder. Tell me more about Taurus's person. Chariot. There's some sort of movement that's happening here. So what movement is Taurus's person going to make? Please speak to me in reference to the movement that Taurus's person plans on making. Talk to me about the movement. Hmm. They're thinking about how to come out of feeling like shit. I feel like your person feels like shit because you don't want to talk to them. You don't want to deal with them or the communication's not good. And they're trying to figure out how to come out of this pressure or fix this issue for good. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords in reverse. See? We have Taurus energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming out, you know, with the Ten of Swords in reverse. So just trying to not have this problem with this Princess of Pentacles. You know, for some of you, they feel like they have to move on from you. If, if, you guys just cannot seem to get along, you know, as it hurts them, right? With the Ten of Swords, it's painful, but they're just going to have to drop it and move on if there's nothing they feel like they can do, right? With this Princess of Pentacles, because the Princess of Pentacles looks very single right here. Tell me more about Taurus's person. 
and this Princess of Pentacles. Tell me more about Taurus' this person and this Princess of Pentacles. But they don't want you to move on, right? <laughs> so, look, they don't want you to move on. It's like they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you, but you are on a wave, like... You feel some type of way. It's okay to feel the way you're feeling, Taurus, though. You have a right to understand that if it doesn't sit well with you, it just doesn't. And you're not going to allow people to have their way all of the time. Absolutely not. That's a big mistake that some women, some men make where they allow someone to keep doing the same shit just because they want peace and they want everything to be status quo. So, oh, I'm not going to tell him that I didn't like that because then he'll leave. Fuck that shit. I'm going to tell you I didn't like it. And if you don't like it, you could leave, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's a, that, that's a Taurus vibe, you know what I mean? You don't have to swear, excuse me, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, I just feel like that's how we've always been. We can't change who the Taurus is. We can't, and I wouldn't want to change it for nothing in this world. You know what I mean? We're bold, brave, and we know how to move forward if we have to. It's painful, yes, um, but if it's not a benefit to us, we won't continue to do it. You know, we really think about longevity and the long term. If it's not something that we see for the long term and if people are not changing because we like to grow, if people aren't growing, remember, Mother Earth, Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns, like, you know, we like to see things expand. If that's not happening in our circle or in our life, we remove ourselves. And then we leave someone to themselves to figure out why they lost us. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for all of your support. The best way, again, to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. I know that a lot of you do already. Thank you so much. The link to my IG is below. And if you want to purchase a private reading with me, that info is below as well. Thank you so much and take care.